Hello everyone, welcome back to Machine Learning with TensorFlow. In the last example, we have seen that a lot of data in machine learning comes with .csv file. In CSV file, the data are contained in tables. In Python, there is a library called Pandas, which is very suitable for handling tables. The tables are known as data frames. Pandas is much like uh, a database language like SQL. So let's have a look at uh, the common operations of Pandas. To illustrate this, I have already downloaded a file called uh, train.csv. Uh, you can download any file from Kaggle. Uh, uh, at first, we are importing Pandas as PD and NumPy as NP. In order to read from the CSV file, uh, we have to use the function pandas.readcsv. In order to write a data frame to a CSV file, you have to use data frame dot to CSV. Then you have to give the name of the CSV file and you have to define whether you want to include the index in the file. In order to see the first few rows of the data frame, you just type df data frame dot head. It will give you the first few rows. In order to access any part of the data frame, uh, you have to use dot i lock and after that you have to give the row numbers and the column numbers. If you want to access a sequence of uh, columns, uh, then you can write something like say 0 to 5 <coughs> and it will give you uh, the columns from 0 to 5. If you want to access the columns using the column names, then you can uh, use the column names like this. You have to put them inside a square bracket. If you need to access only one column, you do not have to use the square bracket. It is important to remember that when you are using any database language like Pandas or SQL, it is expected that you handle all the rows together. Though you can access the rows separately and uh, you can make some generic changes, but uh, the database languages are not developed for that purpose. If you do that, it will be a very slow process. But if you can use the pandas functions to handle the rows, it will be pretty fast. <coughs> 